Hello guys, welcome back to the Eden project. So today we're going to look into how we can acquire more materials for our building projects. We really need stone and a lot of basic materials. And I have a good plan in mind, so let's get right to the work. Alright, so the, the thing that I thought we should make is a way to get more materials. Because right now we barely have any stone, I had to go mine to get some stone for what we need. And my diamond pickaxe is almost broke. I think it has like one hit left or something like that. And uh, and what I thought we should do is not to make a quarry, but try out these mining turtles here. This could be very interesting to work with. And that is for two reasons. The first reason being that we don't have to worry about all the piping and all the, the wiring to the quarry. And they are quite easy to move around as well, these turtles here. And uh, we can also at some point probably control them wireless. And the best thing is that they can actually run on biofuel. But that means we uh, we only need to use the combustion engines for this, uh, for this little setup we have here to process ores and, and all the other stuff. Now the good news is about that my, um, my combustion engines down here. Andre, I have retouched the area here with some uh, more beautiful layout, you could say. They haven't exploded yet. I have moved the uh, the water pipe behind the engine, so it looks a bit more neat. So we can walk around in here. And uh, last time I used like golden golden pipes on these here. That was a stupid idea. Just to, just use a liquid ducts all the way. And they'll never run out of water as long as something else doesn't happen. And also, I realized that the reason it ran out of water in the first place was because I forgot to replace like one pipe down here with liquid duct. So that was like a sto cobblestone pipe, and that really clogged up the system. But right now, everything is running as well. Oh, we need more fertilizer for this soon. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go out here into the landscape and I think we're gonna make a platform for the turtles to work because what I think I think they work in such a way that they will mine and when the inventory gets full they come back and drop off their spoils um, while they started so I think I'm gonna make a, a kind of platform for the turtle to work in then have a little um, loading bay where they can uh, drop off their stuff and it'll get sorted into these uh, two golden chests here while cobblestone and dirt and sand and and all the other plenty stuff gets stored into barrels so uh yeah i think i'm gonna get straight to building this platform and of course you guys can watch me while i do it okay so we need a platform for our mining turtle now, the first thing you have to realize is that mining turtles, they mine in a perfect square. You see me here putting down wooden logs using the metal markers, and then I make a square that is 18 by 18. Afterwards, I come around and make a little staircase because I thought it would be nice for the turtle to have some place to retreat to in case it rains, if there's like a creeper attack, it needs to have a little house where it can stay inside. And also the house will work as a unloading bay for all the spoils that the turtle gathers. And hopefully we can have enough room to make a little sorting system. You can see me here mess around with the design a bit. I wasn't quite sure what kind of design I wanted for the house, so I used the minium stone to try out different kinds of wood, and I decided on birch wood and normal oak wood for the side. And I also made a staircase so we could reach up and assist the turtle if it had any problems in the future. And you see me here running back and forth between the mining site and the barrel storehouse to get all the pipes, the chests, the barrels, the redstone engine, all the things we need in order to make sure that once our turtle unloads, the 
it, its treasure. It will be perfectly sorted right into the right containers. Okay, so we completed the platform for our turtle to, to mine in. It's pretty basic. So uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can craft one of these mining turtles. Let's see here, pressing R on this. Oh, we need a diamond pickaxe. All right. And for the turtle itself, we need seven iron, a computer and a chest. A computer is stone, redstone and glass pane. We can do that. Let's see here, we should have some glass here. Let's take a few and let's make some glass panes things like this here we go 16 and we need some redstone we're just gonna make one turtle to start off with and one two three four five six seven here we go now what else did we need let me just check here again Yeah, I think that's it. Oops. Here we go. A chest. Right, a chest. There we go. Alright, let's make this. Let's make this turtle here. Now. Computer. There we go. And we need a... Oh, we can make the final mining turtle. And now we need a diamond pickaxe. Right. Let's see here. Do we have any diamonds? Where's all the diamonds? Did they use all the diamonds? Ah, oh no. Well, at least we can make some here. One, two, three, four. Eight. Twelve. That should be enough for three diamonds. Pressing C while holding the minimum stone pings of the crafting table. Here we go. And three diamonds. Ah, good, we have, good thing we have this medium stone. And let's create this diamond pickaxe. And that should create a mining turtle. Here we go. Let's go out and place this in our holding area over here. So this turtle here can run from computers. So if you have enough of them and you add like a wireless modem to them, they can actually work together and easily let's see here this should work oops don't want to write anything yet now we need to supply this little turtle here i can't really see it though let's make some stairs over here as well here we go just make it a bit pretty doesn't have to be too fancy but you might as well Make it a little bit. Oh, oh god damn it. I really hate upside uh, down staircases. I never use them. So I just think they're really annoying. There we go. And yeah, we'll remove that later. Alright. Ah, look at this thing here. Right, so we need some fuel for this and we can use, uh, as I said earlier, we can use biofuel for that. So we should go right in here. Actually, we need some tin first. We need to make some tin cells so we can actually have something to store the fuel in. So let's get some tin. Four should be enough. Let's go in here inside, inside the factory. An apple. I found can pick that up. Here we go. And let's create some empty cells. Right. Take these cells and put them in here. And we get biodiesel cell. Biodiesel cell. Okay. I thought they were just called biofuel cell. Alright. Let's see if this if this works. This should work inside inside this turtle and it'll give just a kickstart to it while once it finds coal it can use it that for fuel instead the fuel here 
and then we type in excavate 18. Now I'm choosing 18 because we have exactly 18 times 18 blocks. Ah, okay. That didn't work. Right. So instead of biofuel, we can... Which didn't work for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't work. Let's check, let's check the, the, the biofuel. Let's see here. Biofuel can. Biofuel bucket. Biocell. How to get a biocell? Biodiesel cell. Huh. This is this is not right. Let's let, let, let's get a, uh, a biofuel can instead. That should work. How do how, how do we make a can? Let's see here. Can. Uh, can. Here we go. Tin ingots. Like this on the top. All right. Let's try this instead then. It might be a bug that it, that it can't be used like this. But I don't know. Let's make a a, a if, if can instead. That should be a. It should do it correctly, I think. And if that doesn't work, we can always try a bucket. It's kind of bummer if it doesn't run on this. That defeats the whole point of having turtles. Why should we put this back? Oh yeah, okay. Let's get this out. 12. Let's also take a bucket of biofuel. And apparently when you put biofuel into a bucket, it becomes purple for some reason. Why does it do that? I think it might be because it's actually a tin bucket. And uh, that uses vanilla textures instead of um, the uh, Spax textures that I have. Let's see here. I know you're out of fuel. Just did that work? Let's try again. Nope, that didn't work. That's really weird. Let's try a bucket instead. That worked. Oh, holy shit. What the hell happened here? Oh. Okay. That's a buck. <coughs> we just found a way to make iron from buckets. Yay. Can we turn the buckets into iron maybe again? No? Liquid turtle, okay. okay. That was really weird. So now we have uh, 16 buckets. Now I did hear that these turtles were maybe a bit glitchy sometimes, but I didn't quite imagine that would happen. So it, it might have been because it was a tin bucket. Let's try a normal bucket here and see if that makes a difference. And let's, let's just, for good sake, bring some coal, because I know they could run on coal at least. That's the very least they can run on. Let's take a stack of coal. And they could run on coal. It's not like we're using coal for, for, for that much in here. But uh, it would be nice if they could run on biofuel. Let's try again. Nope, now we have... Another 16 buckets. Great. What am I gonna do with so many buckets? Right, let's use some coal instead. And now it should be working. There we go. So this turtle will go 18 out, then turn around and go 18 back. And it'll keep on work on doing that. And once it's got a full inventory, it should go up here and uh, and uh, and uh, toss them out its back, back like it's pooping into this obsidian pipe here and then it should the should, obsidian pipe should pick them all up and then sort it into these two golden chests here and these barrels here so i'm a bit curious how how that's going to work so we're going to keep an eye on this turtle here and we'll see if it actually works if it doesn't work then I'll have to change this setup here. It might be that it throws all the materials like on the ground here or something that that won't work. 
So uh, it's just going round until it goes one. Okay, that's gonna take a while. All right, we'll return to this guy later and we'll see what he does and if it works. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this works. Let's see here. Oh. Well, that is definitely not <laughs> meant to work that way. So that's a glitch. That's going to be abused, I think. Not by me, but by someone. Maybe on a multiplayer server. Oh, it should be... Yep, there we go. Here we go. It's working. Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Don't don't kill me. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, as you guys can see, it's just about as fast as a quarry, I guess. It only needs to get refueled. And once you get... Like, um, once you get down to coal level, it will automatically put coal to use or use any other thing that it has mined. Um, it will put it and use it as coal once it runs out of whatever it's using right now. So it should be pretty self-sufficient unless you're very lucky and it doesn't, I mean very unlucky and it doesn't run into any coal at all. Okay, I'm just filling up this turtle with loads of random stuff to see if it actually works. Let's just see, one iron and a, uh, a dirt. Oh, oh, uh, come back here. And another dirt. No empty slots left, return to the service. Where did it go? Where is it? Oh, there it is, okay. Let's see, this should work. Now it goes over to the pipe and we'll see what happens. What? No! No, 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 no! Don't throw it on the ground! What are you doing? What? What are you doing? That's not how you're supposed to work. Ah. Alright, I think... Let, let's try something else. Let's try with... Um, a chest, maybe? A chest on the side? I'm gonna try that in the uh, next episode. So, uh... Let's just turn this one off here. So, uh, yeah, guys. I think uh, I think that's it today. It's a bit dark out here, I must say. Let's just go into the... Into the light here, so... So we, we can say goodbye. So uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. So in the next next episode, we're gonna look on this, uh, take a look on that turtle again, and make sure that it works properly. And uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Eden Project. Bye bye.